Veterinarians are one of few professionals granted the privilege of prescribing and dispensing medications. Some of these medications are controlled drugs and narcotics, and their management is strictly regulated. Controlled drug diversion and abuse poses serious risks to public health and safety, and veterinarians are held responsible in utilizing these drugs in their practice. All veterinarians who prescribe, dispense, and manage controlled drugs must comply with federal and provincial laws, as well as the regulations and expectations that are set out by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario. Veterinarians are responsible for the security of controlled drugs in their facilities. Failure to appropriately secure controlled drugs may result in professional and legal penalties. Under Regulation 1093, all veterinary facilities must maintain a controlled substances register, commonly referred to as a controlled drug log. The controlled drug log is a system for recording the inventory of controlled drugs, including purchases, sales, and in-facility dispensing. Veterinarians must keep a record of all drugs that are ordered and purchased. This legislative requirement can be met by keeping a copy of the order form that was submitted and the shipping receipt that was received. For controlled drugs, the record also requires the signature of the veterinarian who purchased the controlled drug and the signature of the person who received it. When any drug is received at the practice, the person receiving the order must ensure that the quantity received matches what was ordered. For controlled drugs, Health Canada also recommends inspecting shipping containers immediately upon receipt for any irregularities such as tampering or missing seals. It is advised that controlled drug bottles and containers are physically inspected for any indications of missing drug. If irregularities are identified, it is advisable to complete a physical count of the controlled drug shipment. Once there is confirmation that the quantity of controlled drug received matches the order, the controlled drug log is updated. The date and quantity of the drug are entered into the controlled drug log. This is identified as stock added. When a veterinarian dispenses or administers a controlled drug, they must record this in the controlled drug log. The name, strength and quantity of the controlled drug, the date the controlled drug is dispensed or administered, the name and address of the client, and the quantity of the controlled drug remaining in the inventory must be entered. An acceptable alternative to entering the address of the client is to enter the client identification number from the patient medical record. It is recommended that the patient's name or identification number and the signature or initials of the staff member who removed or added to the inventory also be included for an improved audit trail. When additions and subtractions are made to the controlled drug log, a process to ensure the accuracy of calculations should be followed. The minimum standards for veterinary facilities in Ontario requires weekly audits for most companion animal facilities. As a best practice, all veterinary facilities should routinely conduct audits of their controlled drug logs. As an additional safeguard, protocols should be implemented so that more than one person is responsible for drug audits. An audit reconciles the actual inventory against the expected inventory, as determined from the controlled drug log. Frequent audits assist with inventory management and ensure irregularities are detected, resolved and reported in a timely fashion. For details on conducting controlled drug audits, visit cvo.org to watch an informative video. A veterinarian is required to protect controlled drugs in their possession from loss or theft. Controlled drugs are to be kept in a locked storage area and must be kept locked unless the controlled drug is being placed in or removed from the storage area. Only upon specific direction of a veterinarian can a staff member have access to controlled drugs. Visit the college website for practice standards and sample log forms. Protect your patients, your clients, your staff, and your license. Be rigorous, stay informed, know the rules. Recognize you have a role in public protection and public health related to controlled drugs.